have a body of Father that is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of men. I cover myself with the blood of Yeshua, and I want to thank the angel of God, the Lord, and the blood of Yeshua, and every prayer that you pray for me when I'm in Israel, worldwide. I told you in every video that it's wonderful when you pray for us in Israel. I want to show you the proof. An hour ago, I was standing here in this side, like this, and I start to cross that, that crossroad. When I came to the other side here, a car hit that pole, this round huge pole, plucked it out of the ground in the place that I was standing. And this is part of that car. It was a hit and run. He ran away from the site. After he hit this site, he ran away, the driver. This is part of the car here and the rail. And there is a part by these woman sandals. All this is part of the car that miss my body because of your prayer. And because when we pray the Lord pray, it's a very important. We said that and deliver us from the evil one. I want to tell you and don't bring us to temptation. It's so important. Now we're in the area of the first station. When we have this escalation in the north, and the railroad truck coming all the way from Syria and that part to this place in Jerusalem and used to go to Saudi and uh, Egypt. But anyhow, it's a big sign. And uh, the driver left part of his vehicle here. Glasses is a, is a light is here, everything. But this piece is so heavy. Now, if he went and hit it from here, he will nail me into the pole. And who knows how, how bad I will be wounded. So I want to thank all of you worldwide for covering us here in Israel. It's not a simple time. Pray for the border. Pray for the soldiers. Pray for those that are wounded. Pray for those that kidnap, kidnapped. And pray for us. And I saw in your messages how many people pray for me for protection and that's the end result I'm alive and well unarmed unheard and I give the glory to God right now and I give you praise Father for saving my life in Jerusalem the holy city in the name of Yeshua I bless you Lord God and right now many many people covered many people worldwide have been injured already in accident car, car accident different accident falling Thanks, you're getting healed right now in the name of Yeshua. The healing power is on your back. The healing power is in your elbow. The healing power is in your head and your shoulder. The healing power is over your neck. The healing power is in your feet. I extend healing, healing. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. We heal those people that need it. Repair in the body, platinum that's been planted in people's body in the back, in different area. And a disc, I see a person that problem in your disc in your feet on your right knees and around your back. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of God, you're getting healed. People that have a crooked spine and one leg is longer than the other, I hold those legs right now in my arm and I say, leg, come back to the right size in Yeshua name and loose the vertebrae disc and behind the back. We love you. We love you from Jerusalem and I give him praise and glory to God that he preserved my life at this hour. And I bless every one of you. Those who bless my people shall be blessed. And those who pray for me, those who cover me, those who love me worldwide, I want to thank you personally for your prayer, for intercessory prayer, for your love gifts, for what you're doing for my life here in Jerusalem. It's encouraged us, it's encouraged me, and I am alive. I shall not die, but live and declare the work of the Lord in his name. I was just ministering to a, a pastor that had cancer in Russia, and I recite those words. 
over him, but I say, I shall not die, but live. And declare the work of the Lord many, many times. And so, my friend, this verse is very powerful. Your prayer are very powerful. The Lord God, Yeshua, the Lamb of God, who take the sins of the world by his right power here. And he saved me, he's the second Adam. And the same for you. You never know when it's come. You never know when it's going to happen. When maybe you're going to heaven. And, and whenever you're going to be, lose your life. It was a second. Second. And I want to make sure that you know that after Adam and Eve fell in the heavenly garden, there was a perfect lamb. Animal was supposed to be sacrificed for them. Where there is no remission of uh, sin without the blood. And that's for God so loved the world that he gave his begotten son that whosoever believe on him shall not perish but have eternal life. Eternal life, that's what God wants from us, eternal life, not death. We bind the spirit of death and hell over us in Yeshua name and over you. I break every death over Europe, over America, over five countries. I bind the spirit of death over your finance, over your life, over your children. And I'm releasing life over you in Yeshua name. And I want to tell you, John the Baptist said that Yeshua was the Lamb of God. He's the ultimate sacrifice. He sacrificed. He's the ultimate sacrifice. And when he poured his blood, died and rose from the dead, he saved us. He's a Messiah. Yeshua Mashiach is a Messiah. I want to tell to every Jew, to every Gentile, to every person living around the world. You are not from Rome. We are not from Babylon. And we are not from Egypt. We are from heaven. God creating us. Adam and Eve being created by the heavenly father. And I want to say, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, like me, I could lose my life here. That Yeshua died and rose from the dead, you will be saved. Then you baptize in water and you invite the Holy Spirit to come in your life in fire. People, we must be saved in order to live in heaven if something like that happens. God bless you. Be blessed from Jerusalem, from the holy city of God. In Yeshua's name, Amen.